Warning, the following video contains some major video game spoilers and scenes of a creepy nature that may be home to the occasional jump scare as we take a look at some of the creepiest easter eggs in video games. On the map of Goat City Bay in Coffee Stain Studios Goat Simulator, it is if you head up the hill towards the wind farm to the east and then drop down the other side, that the game suddenly takes an ominous turn as you approach the graveyard. A location that is home to the Slender Goat. Home of references to Stephen King's novel Pet Cemetery and a man who sobs near a large tree which is surrounded by creepy and disturbing voices. As you travel throughout the zombie infested world in Rebellion Development's Zombie Army 4, you will come across many easter eggs including the return of the possessed dolls. And who tend to show up when you least expect it. But my favourite easter egg tied to these demonic little characters only happens to show up when you pause the game on the PS4 and PS5 as roughly every 30 seconds or so you can hear these creepy sounds coming from the controller. In Steel Arts Welcome to Hamwell, it is if you visit Lock Lane to the west of the city that you can enter a home where the developers decide to make fun of the fact you've been hunting for collectibles. And just when you think you'll be returned to the safety of the streets when you go to leave via the front door, the game will instead transport you to a bizarre secret level which is enough to make your skin crawl and send shivers down your spine. Please don't touch anything as a cryptic, brain-racking, button-pushing simulation where you've been ordered to not touch anything. Yet curiosity always gets the better of us and you can end up revealing all sorts of results depending on our button-mashing actions. And in the 3D version, if you continuously hit the big red button, eventually a drawer to your left will open revealing a hammer. That's if you pick up and smash the clock face and point all the clock hands to 6 to represent 666, then this will happen.
2020 Japanese indie horror game Go Home is a rather terrifying, bizarre and short adventure and experience and is definitely something that you will never, ever forget. It follows the story of a young girl who has to find her way home and navigate the streets of her town utilising the sewers for the shortest route and to help her avoid the craziest and creepiest of enemies. <laughs> Anyway, when you do make it back to the apartment block, you will notice someone jumping off the building. Now normally you should quickly head into your home because the enemies are never far behind. But if you have enough time in hand, you should quickly run down the next two flights of stairs where you can find this creepy scene. And for a second easter egg and just after being chased by the piano player, you can utilise the sewers to make all four enemies chase you at the same time. But in order to do so, you must lure the piano player off the sewer she is resting on and then quickly jump inside. In the mission inside Albion in Watch Dogs Legion, eventually you'll have to make your escape by passing through the catacombs beneath the Tower of London, where there are many cells, torture chambers, jump scares and sounds of people screaming, and what could very well be the home of some terrifying monster lurking in the deep. What was that? But there are also several statues here, one of which could be a representation of Queen Victoria where behind her you can hear the sounds of a woman sobbing through the wall. But that is not all, as while you roam the various passageways, you can find that that same statue is also keeping a very close eye on you. Our final discovery today takes us to the haunted tower on Fike Isle in the quest known as a tower full of mice in The Witcher 3, where Geralt must investigate this creepy location and help Kira lift a deadly curse. But it is when you reach the second level that you can spot this chair suddenly move, followed by a creepy vision of a woman who quickly appears and disappears and who is never to be seen again. This is something that has been questioned and investigated since 2015 and what's even creepier is if you happen to reload the game and enter the room before you see the vision and stand near the fireplace that the woman will now be standing there in the distance which is probably the result of some sort of glitch. But since she is now standing there, we can utilise Nvidia's photo mode to zoom in and get a better look at this disturbing presence, which actually turns out to be the same figure you can find just to the north of the village of Midcops. 